Hello my friends, I'm back with Klaus again and we are talking Semicon on this AF4. I have this wonderful part right here and we want you to guess how many holes are in it. We'll answer that question at the end of this conversation or at least towards the end, but we already know the answer. Klaus, Semicon, this is a brand new machine. Let's talk about how it's capable to do, well, all these holes. Well, it's a new development from in our range because for the simple reason our current existing line of horizontal machines is not really suitable for what this machine can do. They are too heavy, they are too strong, for this they are a little bit too slow, but of course they can machine the titanium in Cornell without any hesitation. So this machine is now a completely different way. We are using linear roller guideways, of course, from a very reputable brand. We have designed the machine new and particularly also the spindle adapted to the needs of Semicon. Fast, reliable and temperature controlled. I like that. And, and if I'm not mistaken, correct me where I'm wrong, Klaus, but we're talking right here, seven millimeters deep. We're talking a millimeter in diameter for my American friends, 0 0.03937 or 40 thousandths more or less. Yeah. And we're doing this in about yeah. six seconds, 6 seconds, yeah. 6.1 seconds. You mentioned Correct. something to me that was very significant and that's thermal expansion. We mentioned the number Absolutely. of holes. And although this looks like a lot, we have some with even more holes. I've yeah. worked in an area where spindles break down from trying to do this type of work. Yeah. How have you at Watchon compensated and have the ability within your spindle to do such accurate work over and over again? First of all, the experience what Watchon really has comes from mold and dye industry. Mold and dye industry, especially when you do conduring, means long running hour, long cycle times stability in the contour but also in temperature. So now we have implemented this in the new machine as well. If you do a few holes as you have indicated, you need a machine which is number one stable, where vibrations are completely eliminated practically. Any vibration will in the long term kill the tool. Vibration not only kill the tool, they only shatter on the part. And in the final end, your spindle will go. And this is exactly what you have experienced in your past, spindles break down because of vibrations. So this spindle now has been specially designed to cater for all these demands. We are using more bearings in the spindle. As a matter of fact, here in this spindle, the spindle nose has practically a package of four bearings in front and another two in the back. So that makes sure that the whole spindle cartridge is running very smooth and safe. On top of it, we have then our special oil jet lubrication system. Not only we are lubricating and, and uh, cooling the bearings with it, but it is constantly done. At any given time, our bearings are not running in the same oil as was two seconds ago. So it's a constant circle of fresh oil lubricating and cooling the bearings and that makes it you can run the spindle 24 7 at maximum rpm klaus this is this is brilliant technology and, and yeah. i would like to turn to the camera and show my surprise face not because watch on i didn't think was capable because i have seen so many failures and everything yeah. you just described were my headaches you're giving me yeah. flashbacks to my headaches klaus you're because right. you're right vibration would yeah. reduce the tool life so much that it would break halfway through a process. You'd lose material, you'd lose time, yeah. you couldn't tell it was broken. The cooling and thermal expansion to constantly have new oil. and I mean, all of this is absolutely brilliant and exactly what Correct. the industry in Semicon needs. You have something else in your hand as well because although we are incredibly impressed with this, you yeah. have more that can be done on this machine as we look around us and look at parts. Look, Semicon is not only drilling holes. That's uh, right. Semicon, as we all know, is also chamber manufacturing. Chamber manufacturing is a very, very big business. And one of the operations you have to do in a chamber is make sure it is sealed properly. And exactly this is what we show here on this test sample, which is then practically a cover which is going under the chamber and make sure the chamber is sealed. Mm -hmm. So there, with a special tool, with a special function, this machine can do the, the seal operation here. And this is another big bonus. Do it 
in one machine don't go to another operation outside the machine. Can I ask you real quick about the seal and the special tool that goes in? Because I think the audience would be, it would be remiss of me not to go, Klaus, so well, what's the special tool? I have to know more. Because yeah. I myself, and I'm going to start from the beginning real quick. When I first heard Showerhead in the world of Semicon, yeah. I thought I was drilling holes for a shower like to put water on yeah. me. Yeah. But it, it's gas that goes it's through. Actually gas, and yeah. the precision of these holes, there yeah. cannot be burrs, there cannot no. be vibration, there cannot be any issues with these holes. The seal that you just described equally yeah. is important. Actually, this operation to do it, in the previous time, you would have gone to a turning machine. So now, to avoid this, we have implemented this practically in our machine with a special function and a special tool and of course a special tool holder and you can do it in, in one setting. It's always the key point, don't move the part to another machine. It's loss of time, loss of accuracy and efficiency and in the final end also dollars. All right, Klaus, well, we've talked about a lot of aspects of this machine that I think can only be done if you're doing everything vertically integrated in your own facility. Would you mind describing how it's all done in-house? I love to. Look, one of the reasons why 18 years ago, and actually today it is exactly 18 years that I joined Vatron. Today? Here we go. Um, one of the reasons why I really decided then to join them, I saw how they made the machines. And that was really real machine tool manufacturing. Doing from casting to the machining of the casting, hardening, grinding of guideways, hand scraping it, and putting all the bits and pieces together in one place. Not buying the equipments out of the catalog, bring it to your factory and in good German nail the machine together, right? right. It's not the way. So this reflects then really the mechanical structure of our machines in many aspects. Everybody can use a control system and run the machine. Everybody can buy a ball screw somewhere in the bearings. But to make the hardware for the machine, this gives them the quality of the machine. And this is where Vatron, still today, is a very outstanding company to do so. And you guys have been doing this for an incredible amount of time yeah. and it, it is that reliable partner that people can have Correct. without any further ado have you guys guessed how many holes are in that shower head that we first brought up i'll give you a second leave it in the comments let us know do you have an answer for us it is absolutely 3321 holes Anybody guess that? And, and don't say you did after Klaus <laughs> told you. It had to be before as well. But just yeah. to add on to that, yeah. that is a piece with a lot of holes in it, but that's yeah. not the biggest piece you guys do. No, the biggest one so far was done not on this machine, but on a much bigger one. It had 68,000 <sighs> holes and even smaller. Wow, uh, yep. 68,000 holes and the yep. machine holds up. That's what vertical integration will do. That's what happens yep. when you have your own foundry. That's what happens when you have a guy like Klaus and a reliable partner like Watch On. We're yep. gonna say the name over and over and over again. Watch On, Watch On. Give them a call, give them a shout, let them yep. know what you need at your facility and they can help you out, Klaus. Again, thank you so much, my friend. Much I appreciate you.